see that you are conscious at last. Who are you? What are you doing here? To the former, I am but a humble AI, of little importance. As to the latter, I am here on behalf of the Foundation, to assist you in settling into your new role. The Foundation? What's wrong with me? Ah, excellent. Your key memories are intact. Nothing is wrong with you. Quite the opposite, in fact. Who am I? Evidently, not all your memories are intact. Alas, that is not something I should answer. Only you can answer that. I suspect if you wait, it should come to you. How can I know what the foundation is, but not to know my own name? Again, I counsel patience. Your new nature will exert itself, and with it, answers will come. New nature? What am I? Where am I? You are the answer to a problem. Stop being so cryptic. Just give me a straight answer. Directly answering your questions is not within my required parameters. I was instructed to make you comfortable, and I am not inclined to give you an answer you are not ready for. What about making me angry instead? Angry? That will not do. Very well. Just wait while I pull up the files. I shall read them to you. Thank you. Do you have a name I can call you? You meant just an acronym or operation. Under those parameters, you may call me Natasha. Then, thank you, Natasha. There is no need for premature thanks. Seeking authorization. Security clearance authorized as access to SCP-4043 ARC-1 granted. Now beginning. Item number SCP-4043. Gaia. Object class, Argon. Containment of SCP-4043. Requires the Foundation to commit two partially contradictory aims. Firstly, the Foundation is to monitor and discredit the Mother Earth movement with funding channeled towards political entities and media which seek to primarily disprove and discredit the movement and their ideals. Similar funding is to be provided towards organizations and individuals which seek to disprove and discredit telepathic practitioners, shamanists, and mentalists. Secondly, the Foundation is to provide funding and support for environmental protection initiatives promoting individuals and organizations which seek to preserve and re-establish natural environments. Politicians, organizations, corporations, and entities which discredit the global warming phenomenon and promote unfettered exploitation of natural resources are to be discredited and de-established. Permanent foundation presence is maintained above three underground chambers located in Costa Rica, the Congo Highlands, and Borneo. Each location maintains supplies and quarters for MTF teams IOTA, Mother's Keeper, and IOTA, Brainiacs. A two kilometer exclusion zone is maintained around and above each chamber. Unauthorized civilians entering the area will be turned away and administered a class C amnestic if required. Lethal force is authorized for use by IOTA 5 in the event of non-compliance by civilians or unauthorized access by foundation personnel. Foundation personnel coming into direct contact with SCP-4043 are forbidden from carrying weapons, poisons, or electronic devices of any kind, though such devices are permitted on the edge of the manifestation chambers. Individuals with prosthetics, electronic implants, or non-biological augmentations of any kind are likewise forbidden from making contact with SCP-4043. Telepathic individuals are permitted at direct access to SCP-4043, though only through express permission from a level 4 or higher, and only after being cleared of a Class A mental fortitude examination. Description. SCP-4043 is a term granted to both a vast semi-sentient consciousness spread across the planet and a typically apromorphic physical manifestation of its consciousness. The consciousness is a conglomeration of all biomass on the planet, 
serving to simultaneously represent its health and manifestation of its personality. A force capable of thriving on its own success. The existence of SCP-4043 is thought to be beneficial to life on Earth, and the existence of life on Earth is thought to be responsible for the existence of SCP-4043. As a consequence of its sheer size, the consciousness processes thoughts and information at a rate too slowly to be detected through regular telepathic perception. Long-term meditation can enable skilled practitioners to identify the consciousness, though direct telepathic communication is yet to be achieved. Telepathic contact is possible with a physical representation of the consciousness, though individuals attempting such a feat are liable to suffer irreversible mental and physical damage as consequences of the size and complexity of the consciousness they are connecting to. Physical manifestations occur approximately twice per week for a period of about six hours. In each manifestation's instance, SCP-4043 will materialize within one of three identified chambers. Each chamber is located in the center of a biodiversity hotspot in a tropical equilateral region. Each chamber is roughly circular with a radius of 25 to 35 meters with a multiple entrances and large openings in the roof through which sunlight can enter. Each chamber is rich in flora with a wide variety of plants and fungi thriving within them. Manifestations vary in size and form between events with various mammalian, avian, and reptilian forms recorded across the manifestations. Though it tends to take a form analogous to the most complex organism in its near proximity. Since the establishment of permanent bases near its caverns, more than half of the contemporary manifestations result in humanoid forms. Regardless of shape, the form taken by SCP-4043 is always comprised of biological material similar in composition to both muscle and wood. During such events, SCP-4043 will typically sit peacefully and gently, interacting with any and all life that approaches it. Animals are usually drawn to SCP-4043 and demonstrate comfort and pleasure in its presence. Notably, prey and predator species will often peacefully interact while in SCP-4043's presence, though this effect wears off after demanifestation. Animals that engage with SCP-4043 have been tracked after their encounters. And an unusually high fecundity of survival rates among individual animals have been documented. SCP-4043 manifestations will act skittish in a manner if presented with human technology of any significant complexity. Any weapon which could possibly bring harm to SCP-4043 has been documented to cause premature demanifestation. The mechanisms through SCP-4043's apparatus are unclear, though the potential for feedback loops has been confirmed. While the Earth's biosphere is healthy, SCP-4043's manifestations are thought to be a larger and stronger, and its ability to positively influence the success of life is more pronounced. Conversely, the health of the biosphere declines, both the physical health of the manifestation and the influence of the consciousness wanes. Since its discovery by the Foundation in 1956, SCP-4043 manifestations have been slowly but steadily weakening. Telepaths have reported increased difficulty in identifying the global consciousness. MTF teams IOTA-4, Mother's Keepers, and IOTA-5, Brainiacs, were formed to deal primarily with SCP-4043. IOTA-4 is comprised mostly of biologists and ecologists who keep records of global biodiversity, while IOTA-5 is comprised entirely of telepaths trains specifically to communicate with SCP-4043. So SCP-4043 is Mother Nature? To put it colloquially, yes. 
Mother Nature, the metaphorical idea behind life and fertility and all of that is real? Of course. Are you surprised by this knowledge? When you put it like that, not really. Natasha, what does this have to do with me? There's more you will need to know in order to understand that particular question. That file was only the first. It was archived and replaced in 1994. Seeking authorization. Security clearance authorized. Access to SCP-4043 ARC-2 granted. Now beginning. Item number SCP-4043. Object class neutralized. Special Containment Procedures For formal Special Containment Procedures, see file SCP-4043-R Dash dash Foundation observation is maintained upon three underground chambers located in Costa Rica, the Congo Highlands, and Borneo. Small staff of research personnel is maintained in close proximity to each chamber. With instructions to avoid contact with any civilian groups of interest that might approach the site. A team of six skilled telepaths from MTF IOTA 5 and supporting senior research is to engage in Operation Seance. The use of C-Class Artificial Telepathy Enhancers is authorized for use. A prolonged meditative trance is to be performed no less than once every three days in an effort to locate any remnants of SCP-4043. Description SCP-4043 was, prior to her death, the physical manifestation and mental embodiment of the Earth's biosphere, comprising both a, a vast semi-sentient consciousness spread across the planet and a typically apromorphic physical manifestation of said consciousness. This consciousness was a conglomeration of all biomass on the planet, serving simultaneously as representation of its health and a manifestation of its personality a force capable of driving its own success. SCP-4043 would periodically manifest in corporeal form twice weekly in one of three locations. In Costa Rica, the Congo Highlands, and Borneo respectively, each location was notable for its exceptional biodiversity and relatively untouched nature. As of 1989, time between manifestations increasingly became delayed. Manifestation events became increasingly brief, with the manifestation occurring for a duration of 95 seconds in Borneo in January 1992. As a consequence of its size, the consciousness provided thoughts and information at a rate too slowly to be detected by regular telepathic perception. Long-term telepathic meditation enabled skilled practitioners to identify the consciousness, the direct communication was never achieved. Direct telepathic contact was more possible with the physical manifestations of SCP-4043 and was used in occasion to learn more about its nature. As a manifestation, events became rarer. Members of MTF Team IOTA were deployed to attempt traditionally risky techniques in effort to preserve SCP-4043. See Amendum SCP-4043.1 Since its final demanifestation, no telepath has managed to identify a pattern of thoughts or emotions consistent with those classified displayed by SCP-4043. Since its death, SCP-4043 MTF IOTA 4 and biologists worldwide have been noting a, slight, a higher increased rate of extinction, with losses of species far beyond even the worst 
predictions based upon human activities. Foundation researchers further noted losses in fertility across vast numbers of species beyond what could be expected from environmental changes, with losses compounding exponentially. Amendum 4043.1 Observation Video Log Transcript Date January 21st, 1992 Subject, SCP-4043. Begin log. A team of researchers in lab coats can be seen cramped within a large, dark chamber. Sleeping bags and a camp chairs are clustered at one end of the chamber with MTF IOTA-4 researchers engaged in a variety of activities around the space. Rotting vegetation and fungi can be seen all around the chamber. Three telepath members of MTF IOTA-5, dressed in robes, sit in meditation in the center of the chamber. The researchers quickly leave them a wide berth. They begin to stir slightly, then awaken. The other researchers quickly scramble towards their makeshift camp. A spark of light appears at the other end of the chamber. After a few seconds, vines and roots begin to grow from the ground and coalesce into a feminine humanoid form. The form is no more than one meter in height and moves unsteadily. The three telepaths quickly enter meditation as the other researchers watch. The manifestation curls into a fetal position, twitching in immense pain. After several seconds, one of the telepaths begins to twitch and clenches in its apparent pain as well. She curls her hands into tight fists and begins to sweat. The other two cry out, enter shock, and collapse into unconsciousness. The manifestation crawls across the ground, shredding a trail of rotten vines and leaves. It crawls into the lap of the sweating, straining telepath. It curls into a ball. The telepath slowly wraps her arms around the manifestation, speaking to it softly. The figure sits there, curled up in her lap for 45 seconds, before suddenly collapsing into a pile of roots and vines. The telepath stops twitching and observes the pile of rotten vegetation in her lap a look of grief spreading across her face. Addendum 4043.2 Interview Logs Manifestation Debrief Interview Date January 23rd, 1992 Interviewer, Head Researcher John Reynolds Interviewee, Special Agent, Subject, SCP-4043, Manifestation. Please state your name for the record. Special Agent, Legal Transports. How long have you been working on the 4043 Project Special Agent? Almost 15 years, sir. Back in 75 was the first time they attempted to make direct contact with her. I was just a junior trainee back then. They brought me on in the middle of 77, right after a few members of the original team burned out. Burned out? Yes, sir. Telepathy isn't exactly an exact science and gets full of risks, sir. They aren't always clear. But generally speaking, making contact with multiple minds at once is a delicate task, and when you link with another mind, well, your brain mimics their thought patterns in addition to your own thoughts. Connect your brain with a bunch of minds at once, and you can end up with more thoughts than your brain can physically process. The end result is basically the same as an epileptic fit. The first thing a telepath needs to learn before multitasking is how to limit the amount of information that they are taking in at once. You have to put up the mental walls to shield yourself from the input that you can't handle. And with SCP-4043? Yes. She's literally billions of minds of trillions of tiny thoughts. And all at the same time, with the global consciousness, it's so big that they're just spread out, taking hours to resolve. As they move around the planet, 
It's basically background static to us, but when she manifests, those thoughts are focused. And dipping into them is extremely dangerous. The first few to try were in, left in a vegetative state, basically. How were we able to make contact? All members of specialized training. It's like learning how to stand way back with your hands over your ears and your eyes shut, and then starting a conversation by shouting through a wall. It's not easy. I'm the only one who's served in this capacity for longer than a decade. The stress gets to you. Refer to SCP-4043 as she? Yes, sir. It's how she is. She's a conglomeration of life on Earth, which is mostly female. Males to be biologically expendable, and we've also had a big effect on her. We make up a lot of the cognitive thought atmosphere, so a lot of her thoughts come from us. Recently, she manifests looking more and more like us, often than not, and human humans generally think of her as Mother Nature. So she's she. Right. Regarding recent events, certain individuals have questions about the implications of what happened. Can you stop being so cryptic? There's no point with a telepath. The council wants to know what the hell's going on. Right, so what's going on? She's gone. What do you mean? She's gone. You mean it's dead? I can't see it's over. This entity, you think of it as Mother Nature. She is. And it's dead. She used to be love. There was so much pain. So much of her was missing. And then there was nothing. What did you say to it? I saw the tapes. I know you said something. Agent. I asked you a direct question. I... I lied to her. I told her that she was gonna be okay. And I told her my name. Why your name? She wanted to know it. How did you get this far without melting your brain? There wasn't a lot left of her. But you know, before the end, she was weak enough that I could pick up more specific thoughts, and I barely needed the walls at all. I think that was a human in her wanting a name. What after effects can we expect? Sir? You've been on the project for 15 years. You know the abilities of the entity as well as anyone else. What are going to be the consequences of its death? She is... was the manifestation of Earth. She shepherded it and cared for it. It was a representation of how it felt. She was life itself. And our fate was tied to her. You're saying that with the death of SCP-4043, life on Earth is doomed? Not quite. We're pretty sure that this has happened a few times already. Chase the Club, the late Primarian, the Octovian. Life will keep going, build up again. She'll probably regenerate when it does, but it'll be bad. We'll see a lot of complex species go extinct, probably including us. Are you serious, Agent Yen? Is there anything we can do to stop this from happening? Stop humanity from killing the ecosystem? Well...